do it. Fully charged with Ryan and Tracy. The most music in the morning. Only on Spin 1038. Now, 24 minutes past eight and we're getting ready to play Whatchamacallit. Yes, we are. We're very special Whatchamacallit today because we've got two contestants who love Whatchamacallit and want to play against each other live in studio. So it's couples Whatchamacallit. When we, when we came up with our new strategy about delivering the right content, the right platform, the right time, we looked at all the kind of options that were out there to us um, about sourcing that content. I guess Spike came along and Paul came in and had a chat with us, showed us the product and for us, it was pretty much sign up there and then for it because it was exactly what we were talking about there being a lack of. Part of our job is to be uh, talking about what people are going to be talking about in their day when they go ahead. So we're hoping that people will go into work and go, did you hear what they were talking about on Fully Charged this morning? Um, so it's important that we're always generating the conversation rather than following it. I'm the sort of PM entertainment reporter here in Spin. I guess I, my role would be somewhat like an investigative journalist, but for entertainment and viral news which is becoming so huge right now. So I was clicking through Spike, one of my preset sort of tabs that I love, which is pre-viral videos from all over the world. And I came across this gem, which we're going to push out on the website, Facebook, Twitter, and on air in the next bulletin, which is in about 15 minutes. So Georgie's gonna write the script for on air, I'm gonna write the copy for online, and then we're just going to blast it out because it, it's, it's super funny. It's not actually out there in the world yet, so we're gonna sort of come across as the first to find it. We've got our web articles done. We've sort of taken the story and rewritten it into our style and fleshed it out a bit. Um, so that's now sitting on our website, ready to go up on social media. And then we've got live Google Analytics of how this story and the rest of our stories are doing. And we watch to see how it performs from using Spike. Um, if we find it's doing super well, then we might push it out even further again. If it's not doing so well, we'll find something else and we'll swap it out. Hi, I'm Georgie. There was a real life Ron Burgundy moment on American TV last night. The video, which has just emerged online in the last few minutes, has already started to trend in the States. The director of the news show on NBC decided to trick the news anchor and change his script. You can watch that video now on spin1038.com. You can also find it on our Facebook and Twitter pages. So a really great example of how Spike is working uh, for Spin. So the day when Zoolander 2 was announced oh, at our fashion yeah, week, we were just kind of checking out Spike. Uh, we saw this video emerging of Ben Stiller on the runway. We immediately set up a panel on Spike so we could track every single story. A couple of hours later, the official video emerged um, of Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson backstage at Paris Fashion Week. Riyadh was on Spike at the time, saw that the video had been released in the last couple of minutes. We put it on our Facebook page. It reached almost 2 million people. Uh, it was shared over 6,000 times and got 6,000 likes. So it really paid off. Pre-Spike, a lot of stuff that we wanted to get online we were missing. and um, We'd see it a day or two later on our rival's website. But then once Spike came along, all of these stories we were seeing before the competition, we were getting them up so much quicker and we were able to weed out the crap. It has allowed me to get a second screen here at my desk and I always have it open on my right hand screen here. So as the day progresses on, every 30 seconds or so, my eye will just flick over to the right and just make sure that nothing's happened that I might have missed.